but that's mostly what it should be. Awesome. So what, like, how, how would they have held it? Like, what's okay, the proper they hold way? It, this is the best way, the, the way that they hold it, okay, would be, number one, it would overlap one the other. So it would overlap this way. Okay. And if you take a look, if you take a look of, at the uh, at statuettes, mm -hmm. they have their knee, their uh, shin greaves would come up right above the knee. Right. Okay, so it would cover the knee. So they were very well, everything was very well thought out. Okay. So the shield would cover right above the knee mm -hmm. where the thigh is. Till right up, or till it, when they have their chin tucked down, it would cover their neck. And, and the shield would be, be right like over right, the shoulder, right. exactly. Okay, gotcha. Okay? And no man would be opening it up and swinging on his own. He would be decapitated on the spot okay. by his commander. Oh, man. So my shield was not there to block, because don't forget, my shield was not here. Right. My shield was there to block right. you. It was there to cover you, right. and you to cover the other the person, other and you to cover me, and so gotcha, on and so gotcha. forth. Okay. So it was the... It was the scales of a lizard of a snake. That's what it was. Ah, the overlapping. Gotcha. The overlapping. And then, so how would you attack if you had something like this then? Well, <clears throat> these guys would be attacking in a forward movement. Right. And they would be pushing with the rear leg. Okay. Hence, where you get your boxing skills today, where you jab and jab oh, this way. Okay. It would be the typical same stance. All these right. guys had, you know, nothing has changed for the last few thousand years. So they would be coming up this way. They would start with the spears, mm -hmm. and then as soon as the spears were no longer effective because they'd either be grabbed by the other guy, or uh, <clears throat> the, the, they would just have no more effect, then from over here would come out the so, Gotcha. And this was, it was a little shorter than what this is over here. This is the mock one we did for the 300. Okay. And uh, it would be a little shorter than this, and then it would just come hacking over mm -hmm. and hacking under, hacking over and slicing well, down. They would careful. shove and they would push, and what they would do is, they would try to push the line up against them ah. because you have another guy in the back now pushing me. So if I'm in front of you, right. you're behind me now. You're pushing into my back. Mm -hmm. So you have so a 18. Be. You'd be pushing right into oh. me, and I'd be chopping down this way, trying to overrun the line. Okay, okay. So it would be one line, one line behind the other, pushing in with just enough room to be slashing upwards and over. So they'd be going in for eyes. They'd be going for throat, oh, wow. they'd be going in, they wouldn't bother with the chest plate, they'd be going for this area here, right, right, right. or they would be going in for the... Underneath, gotcha, yeah. <laughs> the bad area. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so they were specific in where they were hitting. Wow. You know? uh, one thing I'd like to mention is the way that they would move in terms of how they would cover the line. Mm -hmm. Let's say somebody was injured in the front. Here yeah. we are, and you got injured. Or time came where we could no longer perform anymore. Mm -hmm. It was an amazing work of machinery. Okay. They moved like a Ferrari's engine. What they would do is, is the front line would, let's say you're in the front, okay. <clears throat> I'm in the rear. This is the rear line back over here. Okay. The rear line would open up, you would take one step back, we would take one step front, and all of a sudden you'd be oh. behind. And they would be, it would be an open close, one shot, Oh, no way. So, like, open while you, like, shift. Open, gotcha. open, close. One guy injured, it will open. The other guy will take the other guy, the, the other guy's position. So, in other words, it was, uh, it would be a whole bunch of the whole row in front. All the doors open, which right. would be the shields, and then closing. Very it would cool. be a very quick out and in. Ah. That's just to cool. cover the other person. And then what would happen is the rear line, the, the line behind me, would do the same thing to let this guy, this line, the tired line, move its way to the back. No way. Without That's skipping very a beat. Cool. Without skipping a beat. It was That's amazing. Efficient. Yeah. Cool. So what? Go for it. Oh, okay, <clears throat> is there a structure with that? Okay, let's say me and you me and you are basically we meet one on one, right. for example. Okay? okay. The number one thing is I need to have this, I need to have this covering me all the time, no matter what. Okay. Okay. I would be able to block with this. Okay. I would be able to push with this. And if need be, I would be able to cut with this. Wow. So I could cut this way too. So let's say you came down with a heavy strike up this way. I would be able to come up this way and block it and then still come down. That's why? Because it would protect and then come across and take this out. Right, right. I'd have a couple of options. I'd block it with this, but why block it with that when I can come up this way and come up over here exactly and do the damage? I can come up over here and cut the low into the legs. So what I would try to do is I would try to open up your spear, your shield and try to get a hold off of you, you know? I would try to at least bump that off so I can come over. So there would be a lot of bumping out this way. Okay. So you'd want to actually take a couple of shots into me, you know, maybe take one or two and then push me gotcha. in and then come overhand. Wow. So you'd occupy my, you'd occupy my shield, my uh, sword, and then <clears throat> maybe catch it off off balance, you know, or throw it out somewhere and or pull one of these and then come in and come downwards oh, no. so you want to catch over they were very well equipped that's very cool so like um just thinking back in the movie now 
are there opportunities or times where someone would like break free from like the phalanx and fight? No, like crazy Leonidas. He was dead. Single freestyle. He would be court martialed and put to death immediately. Seriously. Yeah. So There's only one thing, thing that you cannot drop during a you cannot do during a fight. You cannot run off on your own, okay. and you cannot drop your shield. You can break your sword, you can take off your your karanos, you can do whatever you wanted. Uh, in terms of uh, your greaves can fall off, that's fine, your breastplate, it doesn't matter because it threatened you immediately, okay. uh, directly. Whereas the shield, the shield protected my neighbor. It didn't protect me, it protected my neighbor. Right. The one thing that they did not, that they would not excuse is the shield coming off of the person. <laughs> Dropping the shield and using this because the shield was too heavy. These people got into the shield from the time that they were about 10, 11 years old. Wow. So they grew into it. Their arms grew into it. Okay. So imagine the strength that they had developed holding this oh, yeah. and a wooden, heavy wooden sword back then made out of oak, for oh. example. You know? Yeah, this isn't so heavy. Exactly. No, this is not. This is pine. <laughs> this is the wonders of pine. You know? <laughs> Oh this would be totally unacceptable. This would be for their five-year-olds back then. Crazy. So do you do you teach the stuff here too then at your academy? Uh, I used to teach it off and on. Um, I plan on putting it in for my upper levels, yeah. my higher level guys. Yeah. Cool. Where they've already have established, let's say, a certain amount of years in pancreation. Well, then I offer it as a course, you know. Yeah. And it won't be as a course per se separate. It will be part of the regimen because it's uh, part of the curriculum because they have to understand a little bit of it. This could be your school bag. I do teach it to the kids. Okay. And I use the shields, the small uh, padded shields, okay. you know, with uh, padded sticks. This could be your lunchbox. This could be your briefcase. This could be your handbag. This could be uh, uh, this could be a binder okay. that you can protect. This could be your grocery bag, actually protecting yourself. Somebody swings something at you, and you've got a chain of keys over here whipping back. Oh, the principle so is still the same. Oh, that's interesting. You're coming back with a handbag from uh, from work, for example. It is the same principle. A shield is a shield. Right. It is a shield no matter what you got. You got your handbag over here. You block, you know, and come out bang with something. Wow. It's the same thing. Whether it's a punch or a pen or your handbag on the other hand, on the other side. So the principles are I've always never changed. They've always been the same. Is there anything you could teach just right off the bat? I guess would that sure, be the most yeah. practical thing? Like okay. learning Let's go for an example, then... right? Yeah. I'll show you how easy it is to start off with. Okay? okay. So it takes first you want to be able to handle the impact. You want to feel what it's like to get hit. Okay. So let's say I'm coming down. What I'm coming down for is your head. Okay. So this is what you want to do. You want to be able to cover behind up over here and lift it up just just a little to see at the same time too. So you don't want to throw it out too much. You just want to bring it up a little open to meet the shield, to so meet like the sword. So you're coming up this way a little bit, exactly, okay. which leaves you a little opening to come out with the sword. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna come down. You're gonna lift it and. How's that feel? That was good. That was good. Now let's say I give you one, you give me one. <laughs> All right. Okay? So I'm coming up one, and then you return right back, right into it, exactly. Okay. So let's say we go for a one, two. You come to me first, and I come right back. <gasps> don't forget the sword is up, eh? Oh, right, yeah, so you wouldn't want to keep it down. There That's you go. Call. So you hit me one, come in nice and high. That's it. One, and I can turn it right back. Wow. Okay? Okay. That's one way, for example. All Let's right. say you strike again with the uh, with the sword. Okay. Okay? I can move to break it out this way and then come around oh, here. Oh, wow. So I can use this just for a circular, and the, and the shoe will just help. Very cool. Because it'll allow me to move in and oh. push. <laughs> and the Spartans have what they used to call is fornicating the tree is they used to line up a whole bunch of people behind them during training and they have one guy behind another in front of a platano okay. and they would try to take the platano down. Obviously, you know the platano is not going to go down. Yeah, serious. Well, now take an immovable, an immovable object and try to take it down, this thing will not go down. Then take a movable object, the person in oh, front of, of you. Of course, yeah. Maybe not the whole line, but that particular person in front of you and you've got the same line pushing oh, you behind. Oh my gosh, the force must be a mess. Exactly. Right. <clears throat> so that's why they wanted that closeness up. And that would be basically what you're uh, what you're doing. Then we're moving into more complicated stuff. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, very cool. That was very very cool. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, admittedly, it was strange holding a mock sword and shield, and I was actually quite surprised by how huge the props were. But damn, was it ever cool to try and even get a glimpse of the mindset and training of an ancient Spartan warrior? If you're interested in more information about Aris and his Pankration Academy, go to pankrationcanada.com or click on this window now. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to join us next week. I'm Anastasia bringing you your weekly dose of your Greek news.